What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Series 97. Well, we're not back with an Elite 97. We're, we're back with another WWE Elite figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 97 Omos and Alexa Bliss figures. Now, I feel like I legitimately sat in my chair that I'm sitting in right now, and we talked about these figures, and I had no idea they would be, like, at my door within a couple, like, within, like, 24 to 48 hours. Had no idea that would take place, and it ended up happening so that was insane i did not see that coming and then bam there it is sometimes that's how it be but i'm excited for these figures for a couple reasons more excited for the omos just because i'm really excited to see how big he truly is he looks gigantic in the packaging you can see alexa bliss is floating in the middle of her packaging he's sitting on the floor he's standing on the floor and he's way bigger than her and she's not even touching the floor and she's like sitting in the middle and still not as tall it's gonna be fun we're gonna compare him to some other massive figures we're gonna compare him to some certain things and we have a really short figure compared to a really massive figure so that should be fun but here's omos and alexa bliss looking at omos in package pretty insane man i think he looks really good i'm excited here not a fan of the guy i think he like you know i'm all for somebody striving for a goal and going after it and being a hard worker and all those things just as a wrestler not a fan of his work you know what i mean like like it's it's okay to respect a musician's drive and effort to go all in and follow their passions and dreams and try to become a, a platinum artist but it doesn't mean that I have to be a fan of their music. You know what I'm saying? There's Omos on the side. There's Omos on the back. Seven foot three. Holy shit. But that wraps up Omos. And then you have Alexa Bliss, who also has Lily the doll, which just is just a god-awful story. But there's Alexa. There's the stuff. Pretty uh, light packaging, as you can imagine. But there's Alexa on the back. There's Alexa again. More info. Five foot one. Rest of the figures in the wave. <laughs> we will review them all, of course. And we will do a My Damn Thoughts episode on them. But anyways man let's crack them out find out how good they are how they compare to their other figures how big is this omos we're gonna get into all the things man but let's crack them out of their packaging if you guys would like to grab these go over to ringside collectibles of course use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there but let's get them out of their packaging and uh, find out what they're all about so here is Omos and Alexa Bliss out of the packaging. Really intrigued with both. I think a lot of, or both of them have a lot of great features about them. I'm having a lot of fun posing them around, doing all the different things, of course. Massive difference between the sizes, right? We have a really small female figure, and then we have a really massive men's figure, and it's been really fun. I do have my gripes with both. Of course, we're going to get into all of that. I will break everything down, of course, as we always do here, man, but I like some of the things we got going on, and we're going to, of course, get into those details right now. But what we're going to do is run through Alexa Bliss's accessories and then get into her figure itself and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Omos's accessories and the figure Omos. So getting into Alexa Bliss's accessories I mean the main thing is the doll right? All about the doll the hands are the same hands we saw with our ultimate edition I'll go ahead and knock these out. You got your mic holding glove hands with the white nail polish white gloves and then they do have paint and play on there which I do like that that you know it looks good I think the colors are good everything's nice and everything like that I have no problems with these you have the flat ones for the you know the like the face pose where she puts her hands under her face like this or I guess it would be like this or you know like that or whatever the case is but you got the white gloves they look good I don't have any issues with these we saw them with the ultimate edition they're good now as far as the other accessory it is the lily doll and I think it does look really good it also has head articulation or neck articulation and you can actually remove the head right there I guess to do like photography or something where you know somebody pulls the head off or you know you can do you know it gives you some accessibility so you do have her pigtails right there in the orangish yellow color you got the face on there teeth actually sculpted on the eyes are actually sculpted on too so the buttons are on there everything feels and looks good she's got like her deco on it really quality and it's it's a good size it looks good i think this is a very necessary accessory and everything like this is pretty good stuff i like this you know wasn't a fan of the story but it's still pretty cool that it comes with it you get everything going fits good with the figure you'll have no problems with it i think you'll like it i think you'll completely like it it's all good and dandy but after that that's it for accessories you get lily and the gloves sounds like a band name that seems to be a trend here in the reviews you got rock and rikishi lily and the gloves terrible bands more than likely would be but they, they exist they got to be appreciated somewhere so getting into the alexa bliss man we've seen this head sculpt before it is the ultimate edition head sculpt except it is repainted with the contacts in there i think it's the contacts in there it may not be the contacts in there but they just look super white you also have the face paint in there not as much black as like i think is needed but it still looks good you know i like this head sculpt i think it looks like her i think it you know it comes across great i think it's great likeness and everything you do have this top on here i don't know if this is i'm pretty sure 
this is the exact top as the Ultimate Edition. It's just repainted. I could be wrong about that, but I do like the light blue color. I like that you have the play in the paint and like the inscriptions on it. The chains look good. It has a lot of sculpted detail on it, and I like that the sculpt work continues up on the stomach, and I think that looks really, really good. I think they did a good job on that going all the way around. All of it's nice. I, I think that the women's figures, sometimes they get the, you know, they get the short end of the stick, but sometimes I think they get some great stuff going on, especially with all the sculpt work, but you get the double jointed arms that are pinless. You get the pay and playing on the butt. You do get, you know, all this going on. This is flat for the most part. No chains or like sculpt work going on here, which is kind of crap, but you do get your uh, stockings or whatever, and then you have your knee pads, and then she still has the same kick pads as like her Elite 53 figure from like 40 series ago, so that's just garbage. Gotta have a new kick pad mold. Uh, this is all painted on too with the pay and play, play and paint, I'm sorry, with the silver and light blue. That's dog shish, man. The basic kick pads from Elite 53. We gotta have Elite kick pads in there, man. Gotta be, especially with these new price increases and stuff like that. We can't be, we can't be playing around with that, but figure feels good in hand, and uh, I do want to get into some comparisons, but this figure is nice. I like it. I think this is her best Elite, like true Elite. It's up there for sure. I think this is nice, and I think if you put this head or like the Ultimate Edition head on the Elite 53, that would be really sweet as well with the, you know, the Harley Quinn, the Harley Quinn attire. Now, for your Alexa Bliss figure comparisons, here's the Ultimate Edition up next to the new Elite 97, and you guys can kind of see, you know, they're they're basically the same, except they're not, you know, they're, they're just not the same. I love the Ultimate Edition Alexa, even though it has like this weird, you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's weird, man, but I do want to see what this looks like with a head swap, because you guys know that the heads are easily interchangeable now, but I think this is going to look sweet, because now you have what? You have your face painted head. Look at that right there, dude. That's pretty freaking sweet. I like that a lot, and then you can also put the non-painted face on this, and now you have a whole different Alexa Bliss. So now you get, it, it just, this is what makes figure collecting so fun, is interchangeability and switching around figures to make new figures. So that looks really, really good as well. So you could have that version, you could have the other version as well, and now this looks really good on here, and that looks even better. Like, I, I really like this. I like this head swap. I think that's a win. That's a good action figure surgery segment right there. And if this figure does end up going to 12 bucks on Amazon, I am gonna buy another one, and I'm gonna buy another Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss, and I'm gonna, you know, do the, all the head swaps and all the stuff around. I will. Just just for shishes and gigs, you know? Fill up the shelves. But, you know, that's what makes it fun. But th this is great. I, I don't know if this figure is better than the Ultimate Edition, but it's pretty damn good, man. This, this is good stuff, and I, I like this Alexa Bliss figure a lot, especially with all the added articulation. Just gotta get rid of those basic kick pads, man. That's That, that should not stand in 2027. Now, getting into Omos's accessories, you do get a Raw Tag Team Championship, which is nice. It's kind of matty looking. It's got like a matte finish on it. It, it. it looks good. You know, the red color's nice. It does have that matte finish on there, but I'm so sick of these damn tag titles, man. I know that a lot of people feel like we're missing these, so I know that a lot of people are going to be buying this for the tag championships, but I have so many of these, man. I just, I, you know, I don't want to see it. I'm sick of these titles. They've been outplayed for years now, but it is nice to get a title. I enjoy getting titles and championships, so I guess that works. I didn't mean to go on a tangent about the title, but you get it. This is what disappoints me. You do get your hand taped hands, but they're regular sized hands. Omos's hands aren't regular sized. Highly doubtful. So why didn't they give him like Andre the Giant sized hands or at least just some new sculpted hands that are bigger? Should have been included because now we have mic holding hands and fists that look tiny on the figure. I'm not angry. It's just a, it's a gripe because it, it's totally plausible. These are too small. You think Omos's hands are the same as Seth Rollins or Sheamus or Matt Riddle or AJ Styles? No. They're not, so stop. And then lastly, you do get the bronzish style necklace, which I think it could have been cool if we got a new mold or a different mold, but they went with like the Stone Cold Steve Austin necklace, which we've seen on 100 people, but it is like a bronzy color, even though I'm sure it's a gold. I don't know why they went with this bronzish color, but you know, it is cool to get, and I'm glad they included it. All right, man, so getting into Omos, really strong likeness, great head sculpt. I do believe this is the, this may not be actually. I don't know if this is the basic head or not. It almost looks slimmer to me. I don't think it's the exact same. We we will do the comparison, but the head sculpt looks good. It is a really big figure. You guys can see I put the necklace back on there. I do believe this is a newly sculpted torso. I don't think we've seen this torso before. It does look new. I could be wrong about that, but you're not looking at a Braun Strowman or something. You got your black tank top on there, or wife beater shirt, whatever you want to call that, or the, I guess it's probably a singlet underneath if I had to guess, but arms look good. I do believe these are like the Braun Strowman arms. The shoulders are on there. Nice black wrist taper. It's kind of like an off gray. It's kind of like gray and, and not completely 
completely black. I actually like it a lot. Going down into the crotch, I'm not sure if this is newly sculpted or not. I think it is, but you do have some nice silver dry brushing right here or silver gunmetal grayish looking paint right here on the belt buckle, which is nice. You got the belt going all the way around. You do have the nice long jeans and they're not like, you know, fat jeans. They're actually kind of like jogger or skinny jeans and they have really nice sculpt and they have cuts in there. I, I just, a, a really great figure so far. I'm, I'm really liking it a lot. We also have these newly sculpted boots, man. Like, look at these right here. These are new. I've never seen these before. And if they have been released before, I don't know what figure it's from, but they feel tight. They're not like John Cena. It doesn't feel like he's going to fall flat on his face. Really like these a lot. They're they're great, actually. And they look great, and they feel great in hand. And the figure overall just feels great in the hand. And he does not feel like he's going to fall flat on his face, which is just such a bonus. Uh, that's just It just makes me so happy to see that. Now, for your figure comparisons, I did have to scoot him back here because he's gigantic, man. He really, really is. We're going to get into our figure comparisons. So our first comparison, guys, is going to be the Elite to the Basic here, and these head sculpts are different. They actually are different, if you guys can see. They are slightly different. The Elite is, like, slimmer. It's not as, like, chubby in the cheeks. Also, why does this one have correct hand size, you know? Like, look at that right there. How I I think I just fucking might take these hands out and somehow force them into there, because I think that would look a hell of a lot better, man. I think that would look so much better. You wouldn't get the hand tape option, but who really gives a hoot? But yeah, the head sculpts are different, and I mean, the Elite's better, but this isn't a bad basic figure, you know? I don't think it's a bad basic. It's massive as hell. So comparing Omos to other giants that we have seen, we have the Big Show and Andre the Giant. I thought that they said this was the biggest Elite they've ever made. I don't know if that's true, man. Look at Andre. Look at football Andre right here, man. So he is slightly bigger than Big Show, but he ain't bigger. I don't think he's bigger than Andre, man. I don't think he is. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's true. If I lower it to eye level or closer to eye level, it still isn't, you know, Andre's hair is taller and he's definitely girthier. You know what I mean? He's definitely a, a, like a wider individual than the Omos is. So I don't know, man. He's still gigantic. And then I also wanted to look and see like what Alexa Bliss looks like, like right in front of him. So that just gives you an idea on how big this figure is, man. It is massive. Like this is a massive piece and he, he is big and the Alexa Bliss is definitely much smaller. I mean, just look at their legs. Just insanity. Look at that. Hands are almost the same, though. I hate to see that. However, as far as figure comparisons are concerned, that's great and dandy, but let's get into the let's get into the articulation. Uh, the head's the same. He can look all the way around. You guys know that. Ab crunch is... Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest. Back's okay. Solid waist swivel. It's not loose. The shoulders are buttery smooth, which is just excellent. Doesn't feel like it's going to get loose. The hands do feel loose, though. You got your double jointed arm in there. Bicep swivel. The upper part is fantastic. This is where my issue comes in. That is his split right there. That is his split. So he basically, his figure is accurate to the way he is in real life where he cannot move around that great. He can kick forward that much. Not great. And I feel like it's going to snap. I do think he's on ball joints. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he definitely is. So I guess you may be able to, okay, you can get it wider. It's just very scary. Okay, so it is very tight. So be careful when you're doing that and they may get loose on you. You know, you never know. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee is very nice. You do get boot swivel here. You do get ankle pivot and the ankles move down and up. So actually, I figure can move around better, but it still isn't like, uh, you know, it's not going to shatter the earth with its movement, but I mean, he doesn't shatter the earth with his movement in real life. So, you know, it, it, it I guess it kind of works, but the Omos figure really has blown me away. I think it's really, really quality and very nice. I can see him doing well in our figure ranking. We're going to have to see as we cover all the figures, but Omos gets gets the vote up. Uh, he gets the MDT seal of approval here today, and I'm, I'm quite impressed with what we've got right here. But I think that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one review of Elite Series 97 Omos and Alexa Bliss. I mean, for the most part, man, this Alexa Bliss is pretty much the ultimate edition without all the cloth goods. You know, it's a, a pretty solid figure. I think you could wait till it hits clearance. I think it'll probably end up hitting clearance. I wouldn't buy it outright, especially if you have the ultimate edition. Just stick with your ultimate edition. I know you want the lily. Don't pay full price for the lily. Unless, I, I mean, I don't know, man. You may want the face painted head sculpt to put on the ultimate. That could be really cool as well, you know, but I don't know. Now that I say that out loud, maybe I did. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I just think with the way the women's figures, I don't know how hot this figure is going to be. You know, I don't know if it's going to fly off shelves. I feel like in like four months or just a few, you know, you wait, you play the long game, it's going to be on Amazon for $12.99 or $16.99 or $15.99 or at the, uh, at the, the Cyber Monday sale or the 
Cyber Monday 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, 8.0 sale that Ringside's gonna post, probably gonna be there. Then you can add MD Toys code on top of it and get it for like $8.99. So I think that's probably what's gonna end up happening eventually with this figure, so I would just wait on it, you know? I think overall it's a pretty solid figure, though. The Omos figure blew me away, okay? It really did. I will say it moves just like him in the ring. Very sluggish. You're not gonna get a whole ton of articulation out of it. The legs disappointed me in the articulation department as far as, like, front leg kicks and stuff. But overall, figure feels really good. The shoulders are not loose. I think that it feels very quality in hand. I like the size of it. I think that it represents him very well. I like it, man. I think overall you're gonna have a lot of fun with this Omos. I think it's worth to grab it. It may be one of the best figures of the year when it's all said and done. Really great Omos figure. I don't like that the hands are so tiny. They did the Braun Strowman thing where they where they don't give him big hands, and so that's kind of stupid. Need to have small hands for small people, like Drake Maverick, Rey Mysterio. Regular hands for regular sized people. You know, just the median sized people, like AJ Styles. And then you need large hands for guys like Big Show, Andre, Omos, Braun Strowman, etc. Makes sense. I had to put women's hands into my Drake Maverick just to make it look right. But I really like both figures overall. I just think you can wait on the Alexa Bliss. I think the Omos is pretty damn snazzy. Pretty damn snazzy, man. I like it a lot. I think it's great. If you guys want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. But before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. How the hell is it 2 a.m.? This shot's got to go to CPW Wrestling, who says, best way to start off a weekend. Talking about our top picks figure review, which I greatly appreciate. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check it out. We reviewed the top picks 2023 Wave 2 Wave. Still doesn't sound right when I say it, but definitely go check out that video. I greatly appreciate it, but I want to know your guys' thoughts down below on the Omos and the Alexa Bliss, but a huge shout out to CPW for the comment. Really appreciate it, man, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. See you next time. You cross the line.